jealous of the people that are content with their own religions. I, I don't personally. I think anyone who has a faith in anything, whether it's Christianity, uh, Krishna, uh, Hindu, and their thirty-three million gods, uh, it's all. If you look at everything that they say, even uh, Muslims, uh, all the great religions, uh, say the great, the, the the largest religions that most people know most about. They all boil down basically the same thing. Be good to your body. Be good to the ones you love. Try to be the best person you can be. That's really what they all boil down to. I mean, they have all these different ideas and these different traditions and rituals. Uh, what's wrong with any of them? I mean, nothing. I mean, really. Uh, I mean, there are some archaic ideas and in all the religious, most of the religious books that I don't think that we want to go do. But we don't live in those times. Should we be better men? Should our relationships be stronger? Yes. And I just think that is what, it's obvious that's what all the religions are focused on. So if somebody, um, like, uh, uh, Sheldrake, uh, the guy that has the uh, uh, the resonance theory about how everything works. Well, he's a Christian, and he understands that uh, that's how he was raised. That's how his mind is uh, working, and he also believes that everybody, however you are raised, whatever's comfortable for you, if you're practicing that same sort of philosophy, it really doesn't matter. And I, I subscribe to that same idea whatever your religion is, if that's what helps you be a better person, then do it. So really what I'm getting from you is that the religions are okay, but you want to explore deeper. You kind of see that there's a little bit of truth in all the religions, and you want to kind of put the pieces together? Yeah, absolutely. There's no reason for me, or especially for people that have a, a, a broader level of curiosity that really want to, to attempt to boil down everything that we know so far as humanity, why wouldn't we, with people with, with those kind of minds, why wouldn't we want to explore what does quantum physics mean to us? What does space exploration mean to us? What do psychedelics and our changing of reality mean to us? What do vibes mean to us? How do how does uh, setting a standard for ourselves and for people around us, what does that mean to us? I think it would be unacceptable if you and my sister-in-law, your wife, who I love and adore, and I know you do too, but it would be unacceptable if you walked in here and we're going to have an interview like this and she said, hey, Trey, and you just backhanded her. That would be a standard of uh, activity that we just wouldn't tolerate. So, I mean, we have standards. Uh, what are those standards? What, what would make our standards even be higher and greater than that to be actual meaningful? Uh, you know, some people, you go, hey, good to see you, Trey. Doesn't mean anything to them. Some people, you just you touch them. Hold their hand. Yeah, it, it, mean, it means something. We've seen that with a lot of Middle Eastern. Yeah, we've seen it. We've seen it from around the world. Yeah. Exploring all of those ideas and notions, I think, and incorporating them into our lives, help us be better people.